first of all, we're at the website of Horse Racing Australia where you can also click through to Staking Kings. That shows how to stake your selections appropriately and uh, long-term profits are assured. That's our latest book, How to Win at Horse Racing Today. Now, what we're going to do is have a look at the Golden Slipper meeting, which finally gets underway this Saturday, which uh, is going to be the 27th of March, and uh, we should be able to find some winners. So I'm um, looking right ahead. We're just going to do the uh, quaddy legs and see how we go. Now, I've assumed that by Saturday we'll be on a slow seven. Um, certainly won't be on a heavy. I wouldn't think it was upgraded um, this morning, it'll be upgraded again probably to a heavy eight tomorrow and every chance with a bit of sunshine, uh, we get uh, into the slow range on Saturday. So that's what my assumption is. So uh, starting with the George Ryder stakes, we can see that we've got star of the seas on top. Uh, that's coming back from uh, an incident at the barrier when it raced at Mooney Valley, but it was still only beaten 4.4 lengths behind Mugger 2. Uh, it was a winner before that at Flemington over 1,600. And um, even though it uh, prefers a good track, it's nevertheless won three times on a heavy track. So it certainly qualifies to be right on top here. A couple of dangers, well, I'm not sure. Avilius uh, might be one. You can see here in our um, wet track assessment, it gets a plus six. Uh, Mitzi gets none, uh, but she rates third on this anyway. So um, I'm plumping for Star of Seas on an each way basis. I backed it last start in the big mile. Um, Bit unlucky there, so uh, let's hope it can do well uh, on Saturday. In a race seven, Profiteer remains on top for me. Uh, the big query, of course, is uh, handling the distance. Uh, but no doubt, so most of these horses um, have been able to handle a wet track in the uh, few races that they've been in so far. The surprising one is Home Affairs, which rates second. It was third last start at Randwick over 1200, but that was a very, very good run on the slope, on the uh, good track. Uh, and it was slowly away. Previously won on a slow seven over 1100 metres. So I've got no doubt that Home Affairs is going to be right in it. But um, as you can see, the first three are reasonably close. The rest of them are well spread out. So it's Profiteer, uh, Home Affairs, which is a good each way better, probably um, the better odds, and Stay Inside, which is somewhat preferred. And it ran fourth last start. That was behind Anime. That was a... Um, uh, another great race about that particular one. So likely the winner will come from one of those three. Moving on to race eight, we have the Group 1 Galaxy, and the interesting runner here is Taylor. So it's rated on top at $5.20. This is a $700,000 race. Great. And it's over 1,100 metres, which will suit right down. And then we go to race nine, and look what we have on top, Taylor. So it's a dual entry. And in this race, it's worth um, not so much at all. It's only a group three, but uh, it rates on top and um, it would be fairly easy, you would think, to win that particular race, although there are other horses with chances. Uh, it's done very well on wet tracks, uh, a lot of work on heavy tracks. Slow seven last start was able to win. Uh, start before that one at three lengths at Rose Hill. So no stranger to the track. And uh, once again, if we go back to uh, our race eight and we're looking at these, our second selection here would be Wild Ruler. If Taylor does not start in this race, let's see what effect that has. Just bear in mind that um, Wild Ruler has not much experience on wet tracks, just the one run on a soft five. So uh, that would be interesting. But nevertheless, let's take Taylor out of this race. That would make Wild Ruler on top. And as you can see, the pre-post market suggests a price around $6.00. But anyway, let's put uh, Taylor back in. Uh, and, um, oh, by the way, if it remains uh, a really heavy track, Jungle Edge suddenly gets um, uh, a track to its liking. So um, even a 10-year-old would still be a chance, I would think. Anyway, going to race nine, so let's assume that Taylor is scratched out of this. All of a sudden, we have Emin Heat on top, and it would likely be near favouritism. So Eminate, our Seasons, and Volpine, Volpine was a great win last start. So uh, m and in that particular race was third behind Volpine. It was uh, odds on in it. Um, the interesting thing is you note here that it's um, got good performances on wet tracks. Um, so we compare that to um, a Volpine and uh, we don't see a whole lot of good form on wet tracks by Volpine, certainly not as much. 
So interesting uh, last race. So um, those are our quaddy selections for Saturday. Uh, there could be some scratchings, but a very interesting day and we get back to racing with good weather. Thanks for watching.